Good morning from aboard Queen Victoria, it's Chris Frame here and there's a lot of excitement on board the ship because of the news of Queen Anne completing her sea trials. There are a number of different reasons why ships undertake sea trials. Firstly, it's to ensure that the vessel is able to operate under the specifications of the design that was agreed in the building contract and also to prove to the ship owner that the ship builder has completed the ship to those correct specifications and that she's completely operational before she's accepted. The first of these sea trials is generally the builder's trials. This is what Queen Anne has just recently completed. This is an opportunity for the ship to go to sea for the very first time under its own power and you'll see things tested such as the engines in an operational state and also all the systems that are used to both monitor and operate the ship but also the, the driving machinery and the driving uh, elements as well such as the operational activity on board the ship's bridge, testing out things like the bow thrusters, the pods, the fact that the ship can operate under its own uh, power, taking it out to see how the ship handles in the ocean uh, and uh, ensuring that the vessel meets the minimum specifications of its building contract. The builder's trials are undertaken when it's still under the ownership of the shipyard, so in this case Fincantieri uh, undertaking the builder's trials for Queen Anne. But when the acceptance trials take place, this is when the cruise line gets an opportunity to test out all of the systems as well, ensure the ship can meet its minimum speed specifications, that it can operate its turning circles correctly, that it can do a full stop and what kind of distance it would run in order to stop the ship, and then they accept the ship formally into the Cunard fleet. Uh, and this is when the uh, paperwork is signed and then the keys are handed over and Queen Anne becomes a Cunard ship. Now, what's really interesting is that there are some examples in history where this didn't go according to plan. The first of these exceptions is the RMS Queen Elizabeth from 1938, and she was launched at a time when tensions were already rising in Europe. The ship was under construction at the John Brown shipyard in Clydebank, and it was completing fitting out when World War II broke out. Because of this, she was within easy reach of the German Luftwaffe, and so the British Admiralty wanted Queen Elizabeth taken away from the United Kingdom for safety. They were planning to use her as a troop carrier after all. As a result, the ship undertook her first voyage as a direct transatlantic crossing to New York before any sea trials had been completed. She then operated as a troop ship from 1940 through to 1945 and then for a further few months as a repatriation vessel before finally being returned to her shipbuilders where she was actually given her complete builders and acceptance trials before being officially handed over to Cunard well after the war having been in service for many years during the war but she did operate and carried hundreds of thousands of troops without any official sea trials. The other Cunard Queen that had some trouble with its sea trials was the QE2 and this was during construction in the 1960s. QE2's construction was plagued with delays and problems and when the ship was undertaking its sea trials it actually broke down. Both the low pressure and high pressure turbine suffered failures. The situation got so tense that Cunard actually refused to accept delivery of the ship until all the issues were rectified, which actually delayed the ship's maiden voyage from 1968 all the way through to 1969. She was eventually accepted into Cunard service and went on to become the longest serving Cunard express liner in history. So uh, though sea trials can be a bit of a trial sometimes, uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that the ship's career is going to have trouble long term. Now, I have to go give a lecture here in the Royal Court Theatre, but I hope you found this little video interesting. Queen Anne has completed her sea trials and is one step closer to becoming part of the Cunard family. So I hope you found that short video interesting. If you did, don't forget to like and send us a comment down below if you're sailing on board Queen Anne in the near future. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, I hope to see you on board.